Hello and welcome to another episode of Can Chris Solve. In this video, we're going to be taking on this really, really crazy looking puzzle. This is the Wits Eden 4x4 Mix-Up Cube. So, for those of you that don't know, the Mix-Up Cube, or the Mix-Up 3x3, is basically a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, but you can make 45 degree turns in the middle slices, so that's this slice here, and this slice here, and then you can go on and do extra moves. So, it adds an entirely different dimension of difficulty by giving you access to a bunch of different turns, um, and this is the 4x4 version of that, so it's almost exactly the same puzzle, but you just have the extra fourth layer, um, which as you can see, scrambles this puzzle <laughs> really, really nicely. Um, and I'm really excited to show you guys how this is solved. Now, this isn't actually too difficult. I don't know if it's because I can solve a mix of three by three, but I actually find this a little bit easier because I don't know why actually, I think it just is. Um, so let's just get down to it and let's start the solve now. There's a couple of ways I've found that you can solve this puzzle. Um, some are faster than others, but a little bit trickier. Some um, just take a little bit longer, but they're a bit easier. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing in this video is just reducing the puzzle down to a 4x4 and then going from there. I tried a method where I solve the puzzle as I go. So while I'm reducing it, I'm solving it. But I found that that doesn't really help anybody and it does just take a little bit longer. So let's just get started. And the best way to reduce this puzzle is to just pair up all of these edges. Um, and once you've done that and fixed the centers, you've basically just got a four by four on your hands. So let's just go ahead and do that. And to begin with that, I just kind of get all the pairs that are already built up in the top layer, um, which I guess is gonna be this layer for the purpose of this video. So we have one, two, three here. Uh, we have another pair here, so let's just take that out so that's here now we have this guy here so let's pop that down so now our top layer is completely full with paired up edges one two three four five and um, so then we're just going to fill up the layer beneath it now you might think oh this is so easy a lot of the pairs are already built um yeah <laughs> That's basically what happens. I tried scrambling this up as hard as possible uh, and I still found that I was getting paired up um, edges. And you don't need to worry about actually pairing them because once you've reduced it to a 4x4, you basically solve it like a 4x4. So that's kind of it. So if we keep moving then, we have um, basically everything done that we can do. So we have five paired up edges here. We have two here which means we have a total of seven, leaving five more to do because there's 12 sets of edges on a regular puzzle. So this is where it gets kind of tricky and you've got to use what you know about 4x4 a little bit better. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is using this middle slice here to pair up edges as if it was a 4x4 and we're gonna store them in the top um, and when we get to the last two, we're just gonna deal with them there and then. The issue with this is that we have these kind of weird bandaging pieces where they're just oriented incorrectly. Uh, so we're gonna have to fix those as we go. Uh, and this is an algorithm that's gonna be really useful later on as well. We're basically gonna hold one in the top, one in the right, and we're gonna do um, like a picture cube algorithm to swap these two centers. That's it. Um, so there we've now swapped these two by 90 degrees uh, and now we've freed up this whole slice here. Um, and we're probably gonna have to do that again. We're definitely gonna have to do that again later on when we get to the final stages of the puzzle. But for now, that seems to have worked perfectly. So we've matched up these, I guess. So we can pop this guy down here, which is a bit annoying because it means we now have to deal with this um, before we make any other slices. But we can pop in this one that we've also built. So let's 
put that in the top layer. So we have one more to do here. Um, so let's sort that out. And what I'm actually... Oh, that's really annoying. So we, <laughs> we have to now flip these two. Uh, but because they're right next to each other, it's just a bit annoying and a bit difficult. Um, so let's try and get rid of them. So this one here, and we want to put another one 90 degrees away, so over here. So we have these two to flip, and we're going to put them in the center position on the top and the right, and we'll just repeat that algorithm. Ah. on come on god this puzzle all right this puzzle actually sounds better than the three by three one which is very surprising so now all of our uh split edge pieces should all be oriented correctly no matter what we do um so we should be able to go ahead and solve um well we should be able to reduce the puzzle fully now so let's go ahead and get rid of this one. We have a nice pair here. So that's one done. We now need to finish this one. Uh, because we have free access with this slice, it's pretty easy to just move them, do a sledgehammer, <laughs> and then move on. Um, so now we have 10 edges done. Five up here, five down here, meaning there's two more sets to pair up. And this is very similar to um, a normal 4x4 and um, we're just gonna have to do like the edge pairing parity algorithm uh, So that's pretty easy. We're gonna keep this built pair over here and just kind of try not to worry about that and then we're gonna have to do a 90 degrees plus 45 uh, and then we're gonna do the parity algorithm and then we're gonna do 45 plus 90 Boom. Uh, and there we have it. We've basically reduced it to a 3x3 three three mix of cube, um, which is great, but we do need to sort of fix it <laughs> so that we don't have a bunch of centers next to each other. So I'm trying to remember the easiest way to do this, but I just kind of build it from the bottom up. So we have a completed full face down here now. We need to replace this center here, um, and we need to kind of swap these two around. Uh, so, I'm just trying to remember how best to do this. I'm going to pop this center up in the top face, just because that definitely doesn't belong where it currently is. Um, and then once we have one up here, we can just do a simple switch, just like that, and pop it down. That's the beauty of having the 45 degree move. Uh, likewise, we can do that here with this one. So we're going to swap this uh, edge, sorry, yeah, edge center <laughs> with a center center. I guess we can call it that. Uh, and then finally, wow, sorry about the background noise if you're hearing that. There's just loads of traffic today. Um, so finally, we need to replace this center with this one up here. Uh, so in order to do that, I guess we can get it in the top layer, first of all. And then slice back, I guess. Oh, hang on, what did I do there? I didn't do anything there. Hang on a second. Move that out of the way, pop you down. So now we have everything correct, except for this center needing to go here. Uh, and that's a pretty easy fix, I think. So we're just gonna pop this guy, this random edge up into the top move 90 degrees and then slice back and there you go we basically have all our centers done and now we just have to sort these final four pieces out and this is really simple it's exactly the same algorithm as before we basically want to just remember what moves we do so if I do a M by 45 and then is that an E an E by 45 and then we do the algorithm to swap these two If I can. Oh. And 
and then we want to reset the E and reset the M and then we have the final two here so we're going to pop one on the top and then we're going to pop one on the right and just remember what we've done uh, and then we're going to do the algorithm again should have done it but I think I might have messed it up. No we're good. <laughs> the hardest part of this puzzle honestly is not getting lost halfway through an algorithm because the puzzle locks up. Um, but that's it we basically have a 4x4 four four now um, and you all know I can solve a 4x4 four four, so I don't know if there's any point <laughs> going through it but I guess I'll just start the solve. Um, I've solved this a few times actually and as far as I can tell there isn't like a parity you can get with this. Once you've reduced it to a 4x4, four four, it pretty much is just done. It's a finished 4x4, four four, so um, that's definitely great. <laughs> we don't really need to worry about that anymore. Um, so, so yeah, that's sort of it. Um, so I solve using the OWL method, for those of you that don't know. Um, so I guess we can just go ahead and do that. What's next? Let's do... But I've not sold 4x4 four four in a really long time actually, so <laughs> there's that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any point carrying this on. I might just fast forward this bit so you can see that I definitely can solve a 4x4. Four four. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Wow, oh my god. That took like nearly five minutes. <laughs> the puzzle's just so hard to turn. I really don't. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> this puzzle's actually not that difficult. It's it's really quite straightforward if you know what to do. Uh, and it's basically just um, doing a four by four solve with some extra moves um, to reduce it to a four by four. And then you basically just solve it as a normal four by four. So really not too much going on. Um, for some reason I seem to remember the 3x3 mix-up being a lot more difficult, but um, who knows. Um, I guess you can go and watch the, the mix-up video and, and see what you think for yourselves. But uh, this is definitely still a very fun puzzle. I was very intimidated by it to begin with because there's just so many moving parts. But uh, the mix-up puzzles are, are actually quite accessible because they seem really tricky, but with a little bit of thinking and, and applying algorithms, it actually doesn't end up being too difficult. So. Yeah, definitely a really awesome puzzle, and if you guys are interested in checking this out or any of the other mix-up puzzles, you can go and check them out at Cubes UK. I'll have a link in the description below, and make sure you use my discount code for 5% off. That is it for this video though, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope I was being a little bit more clear than usual, <laughs> because there was a lot of just mumbling <laughs> during that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, remember, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And then of course, subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. That's it from me though, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.